Turning now to developing news involving the Greensboro Transit Agency. Right now, GTA buses are up and running following a driver walkout this morning. Dozens of drivers refused to get behind the wheel, demanding more pay and benefits. WFNY News 2's Ariel Cadet is live at the bus depot with what happens next. What's the latest? Yeah, that's right. Well, while the buses are running right now, the negotiations between the company RATP Dev that employs the bus drivers are going to start within the next couple of days. I spoke with a bus driver who tells me they talked with a rep from the company about the wages and those benefits that they hope are included in those negotiations. Drivers say they are pushing for a salary increase, more PTO time, and want to keep the insurance they have right now. A driver says that REATPDEV was planning to change their insurance plans and it was one they were worried about. An employment lawyer I spoke with says employees have the right to walk out when it comes to economic concerns. She says it can vary for how long negotiations can take. I don't want to say they try to band-aid the situation, but they try to get it resolved quickly so that they can move forward if there are protracted negotiations which are needed at a later time um, to try to keep everything moving. I spoke with a passenger today who waited a couple hours at his usual stop before he found out the buses weren't running this morning. He says he had an appointment he missed and was waiting with an A&T student who missed class. He says he's glad the drivers are back working, but understands why they had to walk out. I think they deserve everything, everything they need and should get as far as through their job. So my word to the city people and people, give them what they need, give them their benefits and their raises and this and that. Treat them like human beings and treat them like employees instead of treating them like something else. And again, those negotiations between the union that represents those bus drivers and the company will begin later on this week.